underwhelming. This 116-minute biographical drama by director Steven Spielberg shares the real-life story of the Washington Post battle against the U.S. government to expose a decades-long scandal involving the Vietnam War. The R-rated film was well on its way to tripling its $50 million budget two months after its December 2017 release. Unless you live through this tumultuous time period in history, I fear most audiences won't truly appreciate the scope or importance of this film's story, as the script fails to adequately explain why the Pentagon Papers were so significant to the future of American journalism and politics. Spielberg's mobile filmmaking style is always moving, with a steady cam hovering behind people at waist height as they briskly walk down corridors. It's the most kinetic film the acclaimed filmmaker has ever done. The ensemble cast is led by Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep as the Post's editor and publisher, respectively. Predictably, Streep earned yet another Oscar nomination, her 21st, with a dependably excellent performance here. A sequence where Hanks' intrepid team of reporters furiously pour over stacks and stacks of paper in search of headline stories is the film's most effective moment. Hanks is warned that publishing could lead to a conviction and the Washington Post would cease to exist. He immediately fires back. We live in, in a world where the government can tell us what we can and cannot print, and the Washington Post, as we know it, has already ceased to exist. This fierce line of defiance perfectly encapsulates the tone and energy of the film. Serving as a perfect mirror of today's socio-political landscape, this movie is the one America needs right now. I only wish the entire film was as engaging as this scene, because unfortunately it's surrounded by forgettable moments and tired journalism tropes that we've seen a dozen times before in a dozen better films. And given the immense level of talent in front of and behind the camera, the post is a bland misfire and a criminally forgettable disappointment. Still, I thought it was a good picture. That does it for this quick excerpt, but if you'd like to watch full episodes of Movie Night and submit your own reviews to be included on the show, please visit the Jogwheel YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Paula, thanks for watching, and have a good movie night. Thank <laughs> you.